I'm Hunter. This is the Family Showdown! Howdy folks, I'm finally here at BGG Con. It's official! I have made it! Hunter's already been here for a few days. I'm sure he's already blathered on about all the cool games he got to do and people he got to hang out with, blah, 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 blah. And so now it's my turn. And actually, we're going to go and try to play some games tonight. Tonight is also Battling Tops, which will be very exciting. And basically, we're going to spend the weekend trying to do all the things. I want to go and see the exhibits. We snuck in for about five minutes before they close tonight. And we're going to go play some demos and go see. I already got to meet. Um, I saw Derek and Tom and Mark. And I think that's it. Um, but I already saw a bunch of people I know so far. It was really cool. We're going to see all the rest of the peeps later on tonight or tomorrow. And hang out with everybody, hopefully catch a few games with people, especially people we haven't been able to catch games with, and buy more games, although it looks like Hunter already got that off to a really good start too. Maybe we'll have a, an epic reveal at the end of the convention or something on how broke we are. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, so it's, it's, we're off to a good start. Hunter's already got um, a ton of interesting games that he's played and so I can't wait to hear about those and get updated and go and catch some more games. So off we're gonna go. We'll update you later. Saturday morning at BGG Con. Yesterday was kind of a slow day for me during the day. What? Oh, during the day. Yeah, I had to run errands and deal with adulting things. And then Rebecca showed up and everything was amazing. We had oh. a lovely little dinner and we played a game with some um, boisterous individuals. <laughs> it was it's a fun, fun little, uh, I guess, what is it? Kind of a. It's called Deep Pockets, but it's in German. Yeah, it's like a social. Uh, no, it's a social. I don't even know if it's a deduction It's kind game. of a, it's just a backstabbing bluffy, game. Bluffing, 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 bluffing. Yeah, there you go, bluffing. And, um, yes, and it's very funny. It's about, like, trading bribes and things and stuff. It's hilarious. That was fun. That was pretty awesome. And then what did we do? Then what did we do? What did we do? We so, dressed up like luchadors and marched with the team pop. Yes. But we didn't win. We didn't win. But it, it was, was an amazing, amazing time. It was <laughs> awesome. All the Dice Tower crew and some... Sundry uh, nefarious individuals uh, joined us, and we uh, 
played a rousing game of battling tops. We have some footage we'll show you. Um, but you can probably find footage over All the Dice Tower the and over Dan King and everywhere. But um, it was a, it was a hilarious, fun, over the top, ridiculous time. Pun intended. Yeah. Honestly, what the, my favorite part was watching the people walk by that had no clue what was going on. That was amazing. And it looked like they walked into the Twilight Zone. I yeah. wish I could have taken a picture of those individuals because the look of confusion and horror. It's kind of like this: is they'd be walking, they'd be walking by with the board game, but like, what just happened? It was it was pretty cool. <laughs> it was <laughs> awesome, but it, it was an amazing experience. It was uh, it was a one of kind one of a kind experience. Yeah, I spent like what did we do? Two hours? Two yeah. hours of heckling and, and screeching. It was and, it was pretty. That's why our voice is a little cr crazy this morning because we did a lot of screaming and yelling for our great. team and stuff yes. like that. It was awesome. Our team still is awesome. So that was yesterday. So not not, not very eventful. We bought some more games. Um, <laughs> we're just getting started. Yeah, we're just getting started today is we're going to do the exhibitor hall because you were having a really official. I spent a whopping like five minutes. In yeah, so we're going to we're going to do the rounds of the exhibitor hall. We're going to do the puzzle hunt yeah. with Andrea and Mark, a friend of mine from work that loves board games as, That's almost cool. as much as I do. <laughs> and um, That's gonna be awesome. we're going to do that and then we're going to play all the games. All the games. Play all the games. because All the games. I want to play some games. We find that when we come to this, we tend we tend to focus in on the kind of the side stuff, which I guess is okay. Um, but we do a lot of okay. the event. Okay, we were luchadors. We do all the events and the and, you know stuff like that. Yeah, it's kind and of and we board game when we have time. Yeah, the, the, the board gaming actual gaming is almost a side effect. It's yeah. kind of interesting, but so, we'll see. So yeah, so that's what we'll do. Maybe we we'll give you a, a kind of a tour of the exhibit hall, a quick one um, today, and while we're going around looking at stuff, and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye! <laughs>
But basically, the way it works is you you take the tile. I like this game; it's fun. Even though <laughs> no, I, fun. even though I got destroyed at it, you did. But basically, you, you look you look at a tile and then you put it face down and you tell people what the tile is and you take the action of the tile and then they can either say you're bluffing or or they can believe you. Just like in Q, you can take any action you want. Yeah. It's whether the people believe you or not. Yeah. So it's really cool. It was a fun whole game. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So we had a lot of fun. And then next afterwards, in honor of Caitlin and Nessa, yes, girls, we played Way Kick Way just kick. for you. So we played the little hockey game, and I got decimated. Yeah, and Z came by. One oh, yeah, and helped him. Like, the, while they were on the line, I, was, I need one more point to win, and Z walked up and, and joined the game and said, hey, I won, and walked off. <laughs> pretty much how it happened. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty awesome. And then to make up for my devastating loss, I schooled Rob Oren at bowling. We kick. That was yeah. We nice. that was us, all three of us played bowling. It was, it was, a, full, a, it was a full fun. blown game. It's a little yeah. game where you shoot a ball and there's like little wooden uh, bowling pins and you play yep. a full game. Full game you keep school just like a bowling game. Yep. So it was, yep. it was pretty we cool. It and, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of blast. At Rob's excellent master of smack talk, so that made the game all the more yeah. enjoyable. Thank that was fun. And we got to chat a little bit while we were playing. Oh, yeah. We, we made that a very long, like, drawn-out fun game. Yep. And then um, after that, we went to the massive, insane library, which um, we really should film that. You, well, I filmed it during uh, spring. But yeah, yeah we'll, you can we'll see do, it we'll in spring. No, no, I, I filmed it. I filmed it. They've Did already you, seen it. You've seen it. Enjoy. <laughs> Go back and look in awe at the magnificent library. But she saw it for the games. first time. No, so. I saw it at BGG Spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. so several months ago. <laughs> But it was, it's amazing. It's still an experience to go in there and just yeah. say, hmm, what I think I, I said it, I think it's I said it was a couple, two or three thousand games, but I heard, um, no, it's like five. Yeah, it? I like heard, 5, uh, Aldi say when he was in there one time that it's five thousand, and that's half their collection. It's half? I didn't realize. It's about that. half their collection. Wow. So. That doesn't surprise me, actually. Yeah. I, it's amazing. So you get to go in there and just kind of try to sort out what game you're going to play. It's really difficult, yeah. actually. Yeah. But we, we kind of hovered around the hot games and then games that we I like we knew we wanted to play that we haven't played yet. Yep. And so we went, and Hunter's played Diamonds before, but I hadn't, so we got Diamonds and played that, and we probably are going to be making that purchase in a little bit. Yep. And Because we love that, and that's going to be a great family game, too. And then we also tried, finally, Pursuit of Happiness. I've been wanting to play that for quite a yeah. while, and that game is, it really is like playing, it's like the game of life, but for board gamers. Yeah, it was it's really cool. so much fun, and you can draw out this dramatic story as you yeah. do it, and I had a really creepy porcelain doll collection. <laughs> it did, there's more on that later, and, I'm sure. Yeah, and just as you were about to retire. Yeah, I know. She got fired from her job. <laughs> I did, and then I stressed out and died from too many temp jobs trying to recover. I'm telling you, that man. That game is fun. The game is actually game is fun. Amazing. It's very light, easy going, really fun game. Yeah, it's, oh my gosh. That That'll game, be another one that we'll be getting probably. Yeah, yeah, we'll be purchasing that, but Bonacore, it wasn't here in your stock. Yeah, I didn't realize it was 2015. That's the reason yeah, it's, not, it's not, not this year. So. Yeah, curse you for not having old games in your collection today that we can buy. <laughs> so... <laughs> so um, yeah, and then um, after that, wow, talk about a time suck. It was amazing to go and see this, though, but the entire convention converges into the main hall and pours out from it because not all of us fit in there and do the award ceremony. And there's a reason, you know, you want to be present because you have to be present to win, and the prizes they have are crazy. Yeah, the like, last prize that they gave away were tickets to Essen. Yeah, it's Tickets to amazing. Essen, all because you have this little yellow ticket here. I mean, yep. it was just nuts. So everybody is standing there yep. that can. It was it was pretty awesome. But of course this takes, what, was it an hour and a half? I it think, was a long time. To go all through awards, all of yeah. the awards. I think they had something like 50, they had 55 game packages, which, which usually is like anywhere from... No, it was 60. It was 60 something. Was it? Yeah, it was and they have like three to five games or so, and, and they're all valuable. Every package is probably 100 bucks worth of games. Oh, it was and then, amazing. And then they did Essen, and then they had a big massive grand prize of games at the end as well. So it Yeah, it, it, wow. It was amazing. Yep. So while that was going on... And we we're won... Nothing. Big old goose <laughs> came close. But the odds are pretty slim because you're talking about 60, 70 things given away and there's 3,000 people. people. So yeah, yeah, the I, odds are pretty low. Hey, but, but some people that were right next to us won. Does that count for something? Yeah, we were, we got something. award proximity. <laughs> That's right. Be jealous. Okay. You, you forgot one of the most. Of the, the, you, I know. I know. You I know. must. You must have ripped it from your memory because the the, the our, our favorite part of the day you you zoomed right by it. I didn't write it down. You're, you're confusing me. I'm during the awards. The uh, 
Puzzle Hunt. Oh gosh! <laughs> I didn't write that down and I forgot. There were two hours of our life that Hunter will never get back. If you've that seen is... The Princess Bride, there's this machine that sucks <laughs> life away. That is the Puzzle Hunt. It, melts, it sucked it, my life away. It melts your brain. It was cool. But, um, um, your, his, Hunter's co-worker, Andrea, and her husband, Mark, um, and, and we played on a team, and, and whatever. You, I had fun. We had fun. I solved a puzzle. I we call, did solve, I call, we I, did solve some. I, I, I we call solved it, some, I solved it. And I'm saying I personally solved oh. a puzzle. I, I solved a puzzle. I call it a victory. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting, and they set it up in the format of um, pandemic. pandemic, and yeah. so you had to go to cities and solve things, and the, the, the app they made was amazing for this because based off how many puzzles you solved, it was how many people that you had saved and blah, blah, blah. And the winners were in like the 41 millions and stuff. It's ridiculous. We and actually a, killed more people. <laughs> we, our participation killed more people we than if, one. no. No. We got like four or five thousand, something like that, right? No, million. A million, yeah, four or five we million. Five thousand. <laughs> Give us some credit, man. No, yeah, we got like, it was like four. Four, four and change million we say whatever that's a city people. yeah it's a, the, the scoring is neat because it um, was very cool what, the way it works is uh, it, as more people solve the same puzzle the value of that city decreases so you're you're encouraged to fan out and, and get an isolated area on the map and start solving puzzles over there but you have to unlock cities so that means you have to solve puzzles to go to these right so we, we learned we learned amazing. quite a bit doing that a we need more writing utensils yeah we, we didn't come prepared at all we didn't have enough writing we, need, we didn't have scrap paper we, need we didn't have paper. a laptop we need you a laptop. need these yeah. things for this so if you ever do the puzzle hunt a make sure you have your team together and ready to roll and bring materials you yeah. want to be able to tape, search the internet scissors. tape and scissors there were people putting together 3d puzzles yeah, you had to we didn't a, get you had to, to put like a cube together at the design of did cube. you see that one that was like some crazy dodecahexagon right it was just some of the puzzles away. were off the today. chart the guy that designed this was just amazing i mean I, yeah it was i joke about how horrible it was but it was actually pretty fun if i would have had like a whole day to work on this that, that's is that the was. time pressure was so much that you're like you just get you get overwhelmed yeah. by the puzzle and you're like you, you, if you just was organized and, and went through it slowly and, and organized you'd probably solve it but you're like jumping around trying to figure out how to do it and and we learned a lot. There's, there's. I think, I think the knowledge of how these puzzles work will yeah, help you in future Yeah, because you can tell games. the people that are veterans to this were able to like figure them out more quickly because right. you just have that puzzle mindset. I mean, it, and it is something that it's, it's, it's a learned thing. So it was very interesting. We really enjoyed that, and um, it was fun. So thanks for melting our brain. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of the puzzle hunt is there was a group next to us that was just destroying us. There's actually a puzzle that when you read the words, oh, it, it sounds a like a song. That was funny. You have to recognize the name of the song, and that's the answer to the puzzle. So you have to do a word puzzle to get the words, and then you read the words out, and the rhythm of the words are a song. Yeah, so they were singing. These, these puzzles that the guy they that designs were, this is, is amazing. Yeah, this, they were puzzles. off the charts. So anyway, puzzle hunt. Brain melted. I, 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 I didn't even write that on it, there. I do not recommend it. I understand now. There were, there were people like in the elevator that were like, oh man, after we did the puzzle hunt, we couldn't play any heavy games. I understand why now, because your brain is just mush. I mean, yeah. it, just was, it was crazy. So Anyway, yeah. not to interrupt Seriously. the award ceremony, Seriously. but she did jump over no, the... No, that, that was... I think she tried, tried to erase it from her memory. No, I didn't even put it on the list. I wrote it down right now. <laughs> so, um, it was pretty awesome. So, during the puzzle hunt, though, we were out in the, the main hall. We didn't even make it into the the main room yeah. because there was just so many people we didn't even try so we were hanging out in kind of the area with the way kick um, games and stuff and um, Dan King wandered by so hi Dan and we were goofing around chatting with him pretty soon before we know it we're sitting there playing a game of tumbling dice while we're listening to the award ceremony so yep. it was kind of fun so it was kind right of fun to, to teach again. a game I did I taught a game you all should be proud yeah. yes the complicated tumbling dice <laughs> hey but you taught a game too I did. you taught a game to Dan King to, to, to an industry pro can I call him an industry pro yes you can okay he's, he's all pro she, so right, right back it was fun you get, you, get, you get a gold star for that one <laughs> that was fun so then, um, I guess you'd already played the last game we played for the night, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Okay. So I played it with, uh, yeah, it's Capital Lux. Uh, you've already oh, yeah, seen yeah, okay. that. We played that with Z and Rodney and Mark Street. Oh, oh that's the one you played with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a cool game. So Hunter was like, you need to play this. You're really going to like this game. So we went and got it out of the library again. And that was like our ender for the night. We played a couple games of that. And that was really a fun game. Yeah, I knew she'd like it. So, it's right up her alley. So. Yep. So enjoyed that. And then we crashed and burned. And now we're here. And now we must scramble. 
So the, the game plan for today is we're going to find score what is sc sc scrounge? Scrounge. Scavage. Scrounge. Scavage. If you're of Texas, it's scrounge. It's true, it's scrounge. Scrounge for some breakfast, and then we're gonna do, the, do we're gonna do the exhibit hall. We'll give you a little quick little tour of the exhibit hall and see what trouble yep. we can find there. Probably buy diamonds and anything else that comes that looks interesting. We may just have to do an impulse buy feast for Odin or whatever it is just to they don't have it out, it's not out yet. Oh anyway. So we steal the demo game of So that's probably gonna be the ender will be the exhibit hall <laughs> yeah, and it's be whatever trouble we run into, maybe we'll bother the ice tower guys if their booth is still up. They're leaving a little early so they may already shut down. Gone, yeah. So oh gosh. Thanks for watching. We'll be one more little piece and if you stick around we're going to do a uh, a thing at the end that shows all the games we got oh, yeah, and yeah. kind of recap of the, the convention. So thanks for watching. Bye. See you later.